In this video, we are going to learn how you can add client joy CRM leads as subscribers in MailChimp. So the idea here is that whenever you're going to create a new lead into your client joy CRM software application, automatically the same lead details should be added as a new subscriber to your email marketing platform that is MailChimp. For that, you need to integrate your client joy account with MailChimp. So here your trigger application would be client joy and your action application would be MailChimp. So how you can integrate both these software applications using Pabli Connect, for that you need to come to my screen. To integrate Client Joy CRM with MailChimp, first we need to log into P-A-B-B-L-Y, Pabli.com. This is the website of Pabli. Here we can find two options, sign in, sign up free. If you are a new user, you have to just click on sign up for free button and you can create your own account in just two minutes and you are going to get free tasks every month. If you are already a user of Pabli Connect, simply sign in. From the All Apps section, access Pabli Connect. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, click on this plus sign, create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as Client Joy to MailChimp Integration. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this particular use case, we want that whenever we add a new lead to our CRM software application that is Client Joy, automatically the same lead should be added as a new subscriber to our MailChimp email marketing. For that, we need to integrate Client Joy with Pabli Connect first. So let's open this trigger window and here choose the application name as Client Joy. Select the trigger event as new lead. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and now here it is asking for the email address and the password. Enter your client joy email address and the password. So by filling these details you have to just click on save to create a new connection. As I have already entered the details and I have created a connection, I'll just choose this option that is select existing connection and I'll click on save. And now the client joy account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now here you have to select your workspace name. So I have created some workspaces over here. So I'll be selecting my workspace over here. You have to select your workspace name over here. And now let's click on save and send test request. Do you wish to resend the request again? Let's click on yes. And here we can see that it is waiting for the response. So in order to capture the response, we have to do a test submission. It means we have to create a new lead in our client joy CRM software application. So let's move to our client joy account. And here let us create a new lead. And here you can see I am on the sales section and I have clicked on leads. Okay. And here let's create a new lead by clicking on this plus sign new lead. And here I'm going to enter the lead details. So I have entered the lead details over here. Name of the lead as demo lead. His email address as demo lead at the rate pabletudes.com. Here I have entered the phone number, company name as Pabli, title or the designation as a developer. Here I have entered the website URL and the source of this lead is website. And here I have entered this deal info. This deal is in the conversation with me. So I have entered the stage as in conversation, privacy as public, conversion probability. So whenever this deal will be converted into a customer, the conversion rate will be 50%. Let's give it as 75%. Okay. And the deal size will be 150 USD. So I have entered all the details. Now let's click on save. Your new lead is saved. Okay. And here we can see that a new lead is saved over here. Name as demo lead. Now let's move back to Pabli Connect. And here we can see that the response is received and all the details of the recently created lead are captured over here. We can find the ID over here. Name as demo lead. We can find the email address. It's contact number. Company name as Pabli. Here we can find the title, stage as in conversation, source as website, owner as Pabli Connect. Even we have got the currency codes and here we have got the deal size, conversion probability, the website and here we have got some other details also. Okay. So now we want that using these details automatically a new subscriber should get created into your MailChimp account. For that we have to integrate MailChimp with Pabli Connect. So scroll down, come to this action window and here choose the application name as MailChimp. Select the action event as add new member with custom fields. Click on connect. Click on add new connection. And now here it is asking for the token and data center. So let us read the instructions. 
Enter your API key. You can find the above key by logging to your MailChimp account. Click on profile picture. Click on ex profile, extras and API keys. For that, I'll just take you to my MailChimp account. This is my dashboard. From the left hand side, we can find the profile. Click on it and click on profile. We have to just click on extras and click on API keys. And here when we scroll down, we can find the API key. So I'm just going to copy it and I'll be pasting the same over here. And now here it is asking for the data center. Enter the data center example US19, which appears as a subdomain in your MailChimp account URL. For that, I'll just take you to my MailChimp account. And here you can see that this is my URL. And here I have got the data center as US6. So I'll be just copying it and I'll be pasting it the same over here. So here you have to add your data center from your MailChimp URL. Okay, and now let's click on save to create a connection. And now the MailChimp account is connected to Public Connect. Now here you have to select your specific audience list. In which audience list you are going to create a new subscriber or you're going to create a new member. So here you can see that my audience list name is Public Connect. So I'm going to select the same over here. You have to select your audience list. Now here it is asking for the email address and other details of the subscriber that needs to be created. So we have already got all these details from our trigger response over here. So now we are going to map all these details. Okay, for mapping, simply scroll down. Just click it over here. Come to the trigger response and from the drop down, let us map the email address. In the same way, we'll be mapping the first name and other details also. If you want to mention some tags, you can just give it over here. Select the status of the subscriber. You can select it as a subscribed, unsubscribed, cleaned, pending, transactional. You can select the status of the subscriber as per your requirement. In my case, I'm just keeping it as a subscribed one. Now let us enter the first name that was demo. Here I'll be mapping the last name and here I'll be mapping the mobile number. So we have mapped all the details. Now let's click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see the response is received. It means a new subscriber is added to your MailChimp account. Let's check it. Here I'll be moving to the all contacts section. Okay, and here you can see a new subscriber added over here. First name as demo, last name as lead. Here we can find his mobile number, email marketing as subscribed and here we have got today's date and time also, the created date and time and here we have got the email address. So in this way we can see that our integration is working fine. Let's move back to Public Connect and let us save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay, now as we have set up an automation, this is a one-time process. Next time whenever you're going to add a new lead to your client or CRM software application, automatically using those details a new subscriber will get created into a MailChimp account also. Now let us check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not. For that let's move to our client joy account once again and here I'm just going to enter the details of a new lead. So I've entered all the details over here. We have given the name of the lead as dummy lead, his email address as dummy lead at pablitudes.com. We have entered the phone number, company name as Pabli Connect, title or designation as accountant. Here I have entered the website URL, source as reference this time. And I have entered the deal info stage as in conversation with the customer, privacy as public, conversion probability is 100% and the deal size is 500 USDs. Okay, and the owner is Pabli Connect. So now let's click on save. Your new lead is saved. So here we can see that a new lead is saved over here. Now we have to check our MailChimp subscriber list. We have to refresh it. Okay, and here we have got a new lead created name as dummy lead at pablitudes.com. First name as dummy, last name as lead. We have got the mobile number, email marketing as subscribed. And here we have got the created date and time also. So in this way, we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. Let's move back to Pabli Connect. And now I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So first we have created an integration between Client Joy and Pabli Connect so that whenever you're going to enter the details of a new lead in your Client Joy account, automatically the details are captured in Pabli Connect. And then using those details of the lead, we have added the same lead as a new subscriber to our MailChimp account. And in this way, we have learned that how we can add Client Joy leads to our MailChimp as subscribers using Pabli Connect. Thank you. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using Pabli Connect. In case of any queries, you can visit our Pabli forum. To check the pricing details of Pabli Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. 
you can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.